Killing a guy at Stagecoach. Hardy, how you feeling, man? Hungover. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't expect anything else from you. No, but I'll be good by showtime. Dude, you killed it. Even at Diplo last night, That's making why that I'm appearance. So <laughs> <laughs> I got off stage and Tanner, my my uh, uh, content guy, was like, "Man, that was pretty cool. You just kind of ran around and yelled at people the whole time. You were screaming. Like, yeah, dude. You just go, <laughs> everyone go nuts. Yeah, dude, it was just hype. It was fun. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Please tell me this is an Easter egg that we are gonna uh, get some music tonight. Jason, my friend. Yes. I honestly forgot I was wearing it, and then halfway here, I was like, I'm just gonna keep it on. <laughs> I just put it, I wear it on my bus and I just walk around and look at myself in the mirror. Well, is there like a theme? Because Post Malone has a picture of Michael Myers on his guitar oh, last yeah, night. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Um, I don't know. Just scary stuff is cool, I guess. <laughs> we'll that guitar, it. my, so uh, Seth England, who runs Big Loud, goes, at, well, I was writing with Post a couple, uh, a while ago in the studio and Seth walks in there to say hello and he knocks his, that that actual guitar over and I think that guitar is like a 1930s Martin or something like that. Oh my like gosh. That. <laughs> it <was> awesome. <laughs> like right when he walked in the room he was like, what's up guys? Bam! And the guitar falls over. <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Uh, please tell me Snoop and Dr. Dre are here. It's a sore subject. Oh. Never oh. mind. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not that sore but Snoop, Snoop was supposed to be here oh. and he had to go to New York. But, um, so... I'm pretty bummed, oh. <laughs> but he was he was supposed to be here, and that's good enough for me. But um, it was it was gonna be cool. The moment, yeah. yeah. How We're gonna is play it? it tonight anyway, though. Oh, good, yeah. I hope so. How was it getting a, a call from Snoop? Like, hey, how are you? It was pretty crazy. My uh, Seth Seth called me and he was like, I I need you to be somewhere safe right now because you're about to freak out and. <laughs> And uh, he said, Jimmy Iovine called and said that Snoop and Dre, essentially, long story short, want you to do a cover of, of Gin and Juice to help with the release of like their, you know, their their Gin and Juice thing. And um, yeah, I mean, it, I don't, I don't know. I, it was, it's the, I, I feel like I'm imposter syndrome. I like, <laughs> it's just. No, you're not. Did you know them personally before? No. So they, so no, they literally like just. It was out of the blue. It was completely out of the blue. It's unbelievable. It was, dude. That's what. And I a mean. credit like to I, you. Yeah. I mean, I guess, dude. I just, yeah. I don't know. I, that, it, and and then like, the whole time, like we go to L.A. and we shoot this video, and then, like, just they're there, and then we're like hanging. Out. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> but they're but they're both really really cool guys. Really nice. That is awesome. Um, we're kind of excited that we get to see you because we talked to you not too long ago, and you were like, "Yeah, it's going to be like fly in, fly out. We got family plans." Did the family plans get canceled, or did you say, "Hey, I'll be there late"? No. So, I'm flying. I'm flying to Alabama tonight. At, okay. And so yeah, it's gonna suck so bad. <laughs> but, Hungover flight. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, something like that. But um, yeah. So but but. So Callie is from out here. Well, she's from San Diego. So her whole family's here. And uh, we actually got here a couple days ago. And we've I think maybe at first I thought it was like a fly in and fly out. But I actually came out early and, and we've been hanging out. And I've been getting some in-law fam time in. And then we're going to, she and I are going to turn around and fly to Alabama tonight. And and she's going to kick it with my in-laws. Or my, my parents, which are her in-laws. So last night my girlfriend was scrolling on Instagram. And I said, what are you doing? She's like, I'm on Callie's Insta, Hardy's wife. And, uh -huh. she, and she goes, I just love them as a couple. They're the perfect couple. And I'm like, why? And she goes, because they just party so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the beauty, beautiful things about your relationship? When I met <laughs> Callie, I was afraid of her, dude. <laughs> like, she went to Ole Miss, which if you know, like any, like Ole Miss is a, you know, college, it's an SEC school in, in the South and, and, um, it's like a party school and dude like when i met her she was like an animal so we like partying was one of our like how i don't know how to describe that but it was just a way that we like we fell in love through like just getting fucked up and like <laughs> just exactly what she said on the instagram <laughs> and, we, and we really don't anymore like we don't party as much anymore but that was like she she like I was kind of leveling out, and then she was like, "No, you're we're, we're gonna party." And so then we we partied for like two years. Like, <laughs> really cool. 
<laughs> See if your relationship can really stand. Dude, your honestly, drunk if fights you can or get, yeah, no. I mean, if you can make it through like a crazy night and not getting a big knockdown drag out, yes. then you're doing pretty. I good. completely agree. So, hair of the dog, you're on in I don't know four or five hours. I don't even know what the time is. Eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> Sounds, that makes me sound so bad. Dude. What, the, what 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 happens now? A couple of drinks and then maybe take it easy, some water, then go harder. What what's the schedule? Yeah. <laughs> All of the above. No, I, um, I don't know. It's pipe by here. <laughs> Same. I gotta go. I'm. I. Um, we're doing the Guy Fieri thing, and and uh, I just wanted to make sure I was in a good mood for you guys and for everybody. So I started a little early today. <laughs> we love it. Uh, last night, love that you were wearing a Kings jersey. My oldest yeah. son is actually named after a Kings player, but I assume as. An artist, when you hit all these stadiums, they're always giving you jerseys That's and stuff. That's what that is, yeah. So I have no like. I'm actually. I mean, Preds are playing right now, um, but uh, so I'm. You know, I'm a Preds fan, obviously. But no, they just give you jerseys, and I just I like black, so I like. It worked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you have like a closet full of jerseys though? Do you keep you have them all? No idea. I have like part of our closet, like an entire. I guess you call it like a rack or whatever. You mm -hmm. know, is is jerseys and i need to get rid of it but that's everywhere we go which is super cool that's like cool, i wear though. it that night but then it's like after a while you're like i have a hundred jerseys <laughs> <laughs> i'm good i'll pass this time <laughs> well we can't wait to see you on stage tonight thank you so much for making time for us thank y'all